everybody, it's me, Dusty Raybottoms from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. I'm here to show you how to do my signature look today, Henny. I'm gonna give you the spots, the fashion nosebleed. Are you ready to learn? Get your notepads out. And watch me go from this to this. First thing, I gotta get this hair out of my face because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do my makeup this way. Second, I would also moisturize, moisturize because we can't have a cracked face on the stage. I do two things. I use glue stick first, and then I go in with Prosaid. So let's glue them down. And comb them out. Just press them down, make sure you get them nice and smooth. Or if you really wanna save time, you can just shave them. But I'm all about the boy fantasy. Now, if you're like a really, really sweaty bitch, I probably don't recommend doing the glue first. You should probably just go straight to Prosade because you'll probably sweat it off and you don't want to look silly. You have to make sure that your eyebrows get nice and dry before you put a layer of Prosade on because if you don't, then it's just all gonna like, it's not gonna set. They're gonna get really bumpy. They're gonna pull off your face and uh, this isn't your first time in drag, honey. You gotta look good. Now we're gonna go in with liquid latex. I like this better than just using glue stick because color doesn't stick to glue stick for me. But once I put liquid latex on top and set it with a powder, I can build so much color on top of that. I let this first layer of prosite dry and now I'm just gonna go in with one more layer. I just wait till the liquid latex uh, goes from white to clear. I like to leave it a little sticky that way I can get good coverage with uh, my clown white powder. Get a bunch of it and just throw it on there. It's probably gonna get all over your face, it's okay. Press it in. It's set a little bit, I wanna brush all the excess powder off and that is your covered brow. All right, now that I've covered my brows, I'm gonna go in and do my foundation. I use three different foundations, three different colors. I go in first with my medium tone. And I do this all over. Yeah, I put a lot on. I wanna be sure to cover up all of this man. Take my blending brush. Setting this face to neutral. I went from piglet to Christina Ricci. All right, now that I've got my base toned down, I go in with my highlight. Today, I'm going for my classic clown dusty look, so we're going with the clown white. Get that clown white out. Now let's blend it. I like to take my highlight and pull it all the way up on my nose and like pull it down. I like for this highlight line to match this uh, white line on the inside of the eye that you create. This part, you have to be really careful because you're on top of those eyebrows and you have to just go in with your sponge, just dab on those. The thing that I really like about these blending tools is you have more leverage to get in there. You can get in your angles and now the contour. face, your forehead. I just do little dots because we're gonna blend all this out. I do my jawline. Oh, she's crooked. Let's blend it now. And if you really blend this base out, it gives you a nice, nice foundation to do some cool stuff on top of it. Now look, see all these lines? There's just no way around it. Own your cracks, mama. You're pretty, cracks and all. Sorta. <laughs> Contour, blending it up into the highlight. Work, that's my cream foundation. Now let's set this. I set this with two kinds of powders. First, I go in with like uh, the clown white powder that I just covered my eyebrows with. Now let's set the whole face with translucent powder. So we finished setting our foundation. Now let's build on top of that and let's map, map out the underneath of our eyebrows. And then we're gonna get to work on those eyes, honey. I go in and I draw the baseline first. 
we're gonna cake color on the brow and build and build and build. Now I like to take this and put it down underneath the eye and uh, connect that line. Boom. And now I'm gonna go over it with a little purple. I want this to look graphic. I want it to look deep. So now we're gonna go through and add that depth. So I just make that all black. And then let's do that on the underneath too. And we're gonna go in with our uh, white cream. Now I draw this line on my brow bone. Like I can feel that right there. And I like to pull it back. I'm putting glitter straight to the cream. It sticks, it sets for me. I am going to go in with my liquid liner. So now that I've got my eyeliner done on my eyes, I move on to contouring my face. I go in with blush. I hit right here for a contour with pink. Ooh, look at that, she crazy. I'm gonna go through and make a definite line with my purple. The last of the contour, blue. Highlight. Ooh. Now we're gonna add all of the dusty flare. I'm gonna go through with my liquid liner and I wanna draw my, they're teardrops, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna run our makeup down our face. Since I'm like, never loved ya, and like my thing is like crying and everything, I was like, why not make these lashes like super extra long and almost graphic enough that it could look, is it runny makeup? Is it a tear? I don't know. Let's move to the eyebrows. Fashion snot, glamour snot. This is how I do it. Get orange, get a nice blender brush right on top of your lip. Bring it up to your nose. Work. Now let's go over top of it with pink. Pink dusty? Yeah. Could this cracker borrow some nail glue? No! Yes, absolutely. And now one last color. I like to go over top of this with my glitter again. Now, I'm gonna actually put my lip on. Just a solid black lip right on top of this. Call it a day. Two last steps. Eyelashes and then my dots. I can't go on stage unless I have my dots, ladies and gentlemen. And here's how we do it. All right, so those are the big ones, the big guys. The idea from Dots really came from not understanding how to draw eyebrows. I was like, I don't wanna do beauty marks. I don't wanna do freckles. My face is so graphic. Why the heck not? And I love it. I think it looks so beautiful. Let's take white liner. Now that my face is complete, I'm gonna put these lashes on. 301s, not stacked, sorry. Get a little glue on there. I'm gonna throw her on my face. Her on. Goes on white, dries clear, you'll be good. Is this a bloody nose? I can't tell. And my last step, I've got the eyelashes on. Let's put some mascara on there. Cause you can't go around, ladies and gentlemen. Especially gentlemen. Bam. Ooh. I normally use real sealant for this, but all I have is hairspray. So if you're in a pinch, hairspray will seal your face so nicely. Ooh. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put some clothes on and I'm gonna show you the full fantasy. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. 
spotted, gorgeous, and stunning. If you liked it today, find me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Dusty Ray, Facebook, Dusty Ray Bottoms, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, find me on YouTube, Dusty Ray Bottoms. Follow my channel. Thank you. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.